Ford stand, we've got the absolutely best, most perfect wind we can have in this stand. Doesn't normally work out when we have a good wind, it's normally nothing, but uh, usually if we have a terrible wind, right downwind, they come in just fine right downwind. But it's hard to tell if they got any feed left or not, so I don't really have much hope for this spot because there's not a, they don't really travel through here when they're not feed, so and they just if there's not much they just finished it and they're gonna you know maybe come take a peek this evening and see if there's some left or whatever i don't have any more feet to put out so we're just kind of hanging and hoping today normally i got every confidence in the world in this spot when there's feed here there's deer here and you can just about come here anytime you want to shoot one or have an opportunity anyways but i don't got much hope for today but we'll change the scenery for once so uh, I don't think there are urban areas like I really got any feed left either, so I'm just kind of... It's a perfect week to hunt and I'm screwed because I ain't got no feed and too far away from Petty to buy anymore, so... Uh, I may have to do a little moving around this week and try to find some hot feed trees or something. Uh, we'll see. Um, hopefully it works out. We'll find out here in the next couple hours. I think it's about 5.30. It's, uh, it's 5.15 actually, so um, I had about, I don't know, 2 hours and 15 minutes or so of good, good legal shooting light uh, to where I can get a shot and hopefully get it on film. I didn't think that's about seven times it's going to be tough, but we're going to see. We're going to stand. We're going to give it our best shot. Um, hopefully it'll finally work out and we'll get to put some meat on the table. At least get a shot at something anyways. Um, my other spot probably here probably would have been better but I don't want to go in and set my climber up and hunt the camera's dead over there so I don't know what's going through either so I'm going to put the battery in there this evening when we get down here and hopefully some stuff still comes through um, over there but it may be next week before we get to come back out here and hunt i got to get some more feed out and get out here and hunt but I don't know, I'm really hunting that urban area hard, trying to get a couple deer over there, get get, some, get my donator out of the way, and hopefully shoot a few. I've spent a lot of time over there, and I've had a lot invested over there, so hopefully we'll get something done over there pretty soon. But today we're going to try the private land, and we're going to see if we can shoot. There's a buck that's been coming in all summer, almost just a straight six point with no eye guards. He's not, if he comes in, he's not safe. Uh, uh, it's been a rough year. I ain't never killed a buck with a bow, so normally I'd pass that deer, but it's been a rough year. I don't get a lot of opportunities of bucks with a bow, so we're gonna see if we can't get one shot here real quick and maybe maybe get one in for two. Good enough for a dark and get it in out for a dark and nice, but I don't see what happened out there. Shots gonna have to be right at dark. Anyways, as you can see the wind blowing blowing right here behind us, so we're, we're perfect on that, so we'll check back in with you guys in a while.
close to where I could shoot. Um, she was getting ready to come put her head down to feed, and, and she looked right at me, and I guess because I was standing up, um, put her in a direction where she can't, uh, where she saw me, I guess, because I'm usually pretty good head right here, but I think the way I was standing, um, it kind of gave me a little gap between these two trees, and she saw me, I think if I was sitting down, it might be a little different. But uh, she started to back out, and she got in, she got turned, and she was kind of quartering away, and I tucked it in there, but she fell down and rolled a little bit and then took off down the hill. I got her up the run, and I couldn't tell if she crashed or not, but, but uh, we did hit her, so we're going to give her a little bit, and we're just going to sit and see if anything comes in, and then uh, if anything else comes in, then we'll go from there, so. Maybe I have to bring the dog in the morning and come track him, track her kind of thing and see. Um, I, my nerves may have got the best of me a little bit. It's the first shot of the year, first time I've drew back all year, so we'll see. Uh, it looked like when it went to her, it looked good, but she may have ducked it a little bit here. Oh, I'm not real sure. I'm going to go back and watch the footage and see, but we'll, uh, we'll check with you guys here in a little bit. All right, we're going to walk down here and see if we can see anything by the shot side, walk down the trail a ways if we can find the arrows. Hard to tell on the film what we did. It looks high and back, but you know, we're not certain, so oh, let me zoom back out. I'm trying to do all this one-handed with a bow in my hand. Let's see what we got. We just shot her. Right in here somewhere. She would have been running here, probably. No. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Stands right up there somewhere. Yeah, she might have been running here, through here somewhere. I don't figure, as high as we hit, I don't figure we're going to see a whole lot of blood, so. I want to say she was right in here. Try to right through this little window right in here, I think. And then she come up through here and went right down through there. So, I'm going to throw you guys back in my pocket, and if I find something, I'll come back to you. Well, we got a little blood still. It's not just pouring blood, but that, that blood right there is pretty low to the ground, so it kind of makes me think she was stumbling coming through here. Oh, she's starting to squirt a little bit. Right in here. And a bit of blood right there. Still haven't seen my arrow, so as far as I know, the arrow hadn't come out. Right through here. There's more blood. I can't tell a whole lot about the blood, but just looks kind of bright red, so it's not necessarily a good thing, but maybe she won't be too much further on the other side of this hill. At least maybe I can find my arrow and kind of see what kind of penetration I got, or what kind of blood we got anyways. So we'll see you guys in a bit. So we finally found the arrow. It got much better penetration than it looked like. I mean, it got almost... It ended up going all the way through. It looks like it's from splatter or something, but that's positive. It's right. It's blood. I don't see a lot of see ants on it. I don't see a lot of see a few bubbles in there, but you don't know. Hopefully, now that she's opened up, <coughs> she'll start spraying a little bit. We're gonna put the arrow right here for reference. 
and uh, we're gonna come back and we're gonna keep looking till we run out of blood and see what the deal is. Looks like we got a dead deer over here. Sure do. We found her, boys. She's right there. Right on. First deer of the year. Oh, yep. Yeah. First deer of the year. It looked like it hit him in the butt. Or hit her in the butt. Anyways, we're gonna get her drug out and get her cleaned up. We're going on about our way. All right, everybody, we got her loaded up and we're gonna take her back to my house. I'm gonna skin her up. I'm gonna do a little redneck skin on the back of the tailgate because I don't have a, a gambler at my house or anything, but we're gonna make it work. Gonna get her skinned up and get on some ice. And she's gonna provide a couple good meals for my family. I want to talk a little bit about the shot. It, it was, uh, you can see once we find it in any pictures that it was way back, uh, back in the butt. Uh, obviously wasn't a very good shot. Um, some of that's on me, some of that's on the deer. I uh, probably rushed my shot a little bit because she's gotten spooky and was walking out. You can see she stopped and she was quartering away, but um, she ducked and turned about the same time and it ended up catching her right in the butt, but um, I was shooting an Afflictor K2 hybrid, so it had a little, it had a little uh, like, I don't know, like an inch and a half cut diameter, I think, on it. And it and it, uh, apparently it cut the femoral artery. Um, penetration on film doesn't look real good, but when you go look at the arrow, it looks like it got fairly good penetration. So it must have went in and come back out maybe um, a little bit, but uh, she's dead nonetheless. That's a very lethal shot. Uh, it looks bad in pictures, looks bad on film, but that femoral artery right there is 100% is lethal. That deer was dead in 100 yards in, in a matter of seconds, just like if you'd have double lunged it or shot it in the heart. So. Uh, while it wasn't ideal and it wasn't the best shot on my part, um, and obviously my nerves definitely got the best of me a little bit. It's the first deer I've drawn back on this year, first deer I've even had really where I could shoot. Um, so a little first deer jitters got me and then uh, and a, a little spooky deer uh, doesn't add good to the mix. Probably should have waited and see if she was going to slow down or stop and, and kind of come back in or offer me a little bit better shot. But you know, it's in the heat of the moment, oh, you're rattling here on the truck. Uh, right as the heat of the moment and I, I took the best shot I thought I had and and like I said while it wasn't a good shot it was a fatal shot and she is in the back of the truck and she's gonna provide some meals for us and we're gonna eat good so um, we'll get some pictures here in a minute put some pictures up here on the screen and, and uh, you guys be sure to like and subscribe and this is our first deer for our 2022 um, deer season and hopefully we're gonna have many more for you to come so Thanks for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe. Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Wednesday, so it's two days since I shot that doe and uh, we're cooking a little bit of her up. You can see here we got a little bit laid out, a little bit in the flour ready to go. Pardon the mess. It's, uh, it's been a long week. We just got stuff scattered everywhere, but we're just gonna fry this up uh, regular style. Just Bread it in flour with a little bit of Tony's and throw it in the grease. Uh, I like to leave mine sitting on ice for, I don't know, a week or so before I process. I process my own, but I, I just couldn't handle it. I had to get a little taste of that fresh meat, so uh, I took a back strap out and cut it up, and I'm gonna eat a little for dinner tonight and save a little bit for work. So uh, this is from the field to the table in a matter of two days. So uh, this is why we do it. We love to eat it. It uh, provides food for our family and. It's not always about that big buck, but it sure is nice to get that every now and again. But I like to get a couple of does out of the way early season, so when the rut comes around, I can sit and wait for a buck. But um, like I said, this is the main reason we do it, so we can cook and eat it, and we're about to eat this up. So thanks for watching.